I think if I had had two hands, I would have gotten her. Uh, all right, so we're gonna do a we're gonna do a speed run here. Oh yeah, well. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a weird run here, uh, something slightly different. I think we're gonna do Omen of Many Hammers. Omen of Many Swords, and Omen of Many Crossbows. <laughs> and we're only going to use these three, these three weapons for this run. Let's, uh, let's see how we can do, and given that it's pretty easy, we'll go Apoc 6 on Gildenberg. I don't see a reason not to. We'll see how this one goes. I do need to do some dog wrangling, so we'll, uh, we'll see. But I don't, I don't expect this is going to be too bad. But for this first night, I guess we're ha going to have to use some some non-optimal weapons. Okay, I'm going to try and go get the dog one more time. Be right back. Oh. <laughs> okay, I need to come in up with a better system for uh, for retrieving Olive, but uh, but for now, let's just spread things out and let's see what this looks like. We're gonna go full hammers. Not two-handed. That's the plan. Let's see. We'll we'll bring our crossbow person over this way, just because. Just because we can. With six movement, we can probably retreat far enough back. And then we, we're walking by this one, so we'll give them a punch. And then you, you have a fey amulet, so we can probably... Probably just body block here. I think that's fine. Oh. 
But here's a little stinker who would not come back in when I uh, when I tried to bring her back in. I understand the backyard is a lot more fun, but we uh gonna have to work on that one. You know, I don't hear anyone talk about crossbows very much. I feel like people people sleep on crossbows probably for very good reasons. Uh, I I think it's it's mainly that the the primary attacks are pretty limiting. It's okay. I, I agree, Jeff. It's just, it's not, it's not exceptional by any means. The, the rifle I, I, is understandably disliked. Uh, is there, is there an innate inaccuracy to it? I guess, I guess there's the fall off inaccuracy yeah that that does hurt it a lot doesn't it you have to build really high accuracy to make the crossbow work and the the minimum damage range for for how quickly the damage falls off you have a pretty narrow sweet spot to uh to contend with Wow, I'm loving, loving what our uh, our hammer brother is doing. Shame they're gonna have to give it all up for uh, for a one-handed hammer. Yep, I I agree with that as well. I think uh, the the straight line attack is done better. Fireball is as good as Explosive Bolt, and Impaling Bolt is just a worse version of Death Ray, from my perspective. So, yeah, that that certainly hurts it as well. Is And its raw damage isn't even that spectacular, is it? Like, am I, am I wrong to say that it's... It it packs a punch, but it's nothing it's nothing otherworldly. Yeah, you don't get the minus fifty resist or the, the additional minus fifty resist that comes with uh let's see. That comes with uh sheer power. So you're you're kinda you're kinda double missing out. Ooh, that was a badly positioned attack. Just retreat a bit, and then... Yeah, this is the first time I've ever used Omen of More Weapons. I'm very curious to see how strong the effect is. Like, is the shop going to be exclusively those weapons, I wonder? Whoops. There we go. All right. Yeah, I think our two-handed hammer has been the star of this of this particular wave. Not that it's uh Not that it's been a particularly taxing wave, but I mean, I, I think that, you know, my, my two cents on 
on that Mirage is just that like there's there's no better option than just like I, I don't think that like one-handed hammers is an example I don't think are uh, beyond salvage gosh did I miss a patch where they just stopped giving corpses feeling <laughs> feeling weird all right, so we're all staying over here. So the night reward should be all hammers. Nailed it. Okay, so more weapons apparently means less everything else. Wow, okay, we got one short bow, which was not even on our list. So I'm not going to take it. Huh, interesting. So we have to go to the shop and we need to, wow. I I gotta say, these omens, many hammers, many swords, many crossbows. And we have a shop that has no, well, I guess it has a hand crossbow technically. We'll take the hammer. The offhand dagger, the offhand dagger that perfectly cancels itself out, uh, nice. We didn't even look at our heroes as a side note either. Um, we just we just went straight in because I was distracted. But I think we're gonna sell both of these. I think I'm gonna re-roll looking for looking for more of the things that we want. Wow, these these omens are wildly ineffective two-handed sword we need to use more of and then we have a steel crossbow so i guess we'll do those two I'm sticking i'm sticking with bad stuff here i'm trying very hard to to behave myself so let's see if you're you had a bunch, you have a bunch of physical damage. So I like you on hammers. Yeah, I'm curious to delve into it. Uh, because so far, extremely underwhelming. And then this, this ability, I guess technically it has a stun associated with it. So we could go for like... Maybe we build you for melee and a little bit of stun. I don't know. And then, let's see. So you are poison assassination, poison defensive, poison opportunist. And let's, let's look at this. We got inquisitor, fragile, short, cultist, spiritual, bookworm. There's not really a magic item that I haven't used, so I think I'm probably just going to be picking up, like, good perks and just calling it there. I don't know. Steady aim will help with the accuracy, at least a little bit. Your accuracy is okay. So maybe, maybe we grab cheer and try and remember to use it once in a while. Big accuracy bump, I will grab and grab some range damage, I guess. Okay, weird, weird start. We, uh, we have conformed to the limitation of our run. We're, we're only using weapons that we don't like. I guess technically the Archmaster's Tome is probably one that I still have to do. Let's check to see. Where's, where's the light side, dark side? I don't remember seeing Tome on the list. So axes, swords, hammers. Gosh, it's all the melee weapons. And then... Okay, we could do longbows. Yeah, we could, we could definitely... I mean, the problem is Gildenberg is so short, uh, Mirage, that... You don't get much out of it. I guess let's grab a longbow because longbow was on the list. 
all of the magic weapons we we use with a lot of consistency it appears so I think you're gonna be you're gonna be the hammer brother so okay and then standard build order except we're broke so we'll just do one of those and then another house and one of those and then another house keep the party rolling and then for defenses let's uh let's toss catapults into the mix because i haven't used them in a while hammers and crossbows some longbows some swords let's see what uh let's see what the this is all about toss the cheer over your shoulder Okay, we'll run you away, and then I think the this particular set of rocks is always a little dicey. All right, I probably I shouldn't have come over that way, but I kind of wanted to get. I wanted to get a little more angle, and then I guess, eh, why not? We do have Harvester on them, so it's not terrible. And then you're just in a weird position, but we'll do better. There's probably a strong argument here to, to bait corpses. This is not very good. Like that that feels like the problem. Which which I I know is like congrats Sherlock, but like the the one-handed hammer for all of its limitations, like everything else just about it just needs to be good or you're going to have a bad time. I feel like. And right now it just feels it feels like it's doing damage comparable to other things that we could just be using instead. Okay, well. But yeah, like here... A four piercer is not really particularly interesting. Like, I kind of feel like at this difficulty level, even at this difficulty level, these early hits should just be, should just be landing. The breakpoints. Can you run away anymore? No. The number one. It's a good number. Oh yeah, the dodger being left at one hit point. The uh, the breakpoints have been out of control. I, that is that is a bit of a a feature rather than a bug though with uh, with higher difficulties. 
that 20% increased HP means all, it has a huge uh, effect on on your your likelihood of one shotting, especially early on. And it makes damage as a stat that much more appealing. Should have cheered first. Ten? All right. I hear ten is the new uh, the new one. But yeah, I think as as weird as it sounds, I think there might be a strong argument on, especially on this map, to. Uh, to really let the bad guys come in. Um, I'm also realizing that I just completely forgot to use my catapult. At this stage in the game, I don't love using the catapult though because it's cannibalizing kills that we don't have defensive training to, uh, to offset. Gosh, those go, f those go so fast. The fact that you only have three shots with the uh, with the crossbow does really hurt it. Single corpse pile. Yeah, I I do think there's there's probably some wisdom to wanting to to bring them way 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 in. Gosh, and we only got up to four workers. So this this round I'm I'm going to intentionally try to to bait in because I wanna I wanna compare the the corpses so I'm literally gonna do nothing for the first few rounds while we wait for them to come in and then we'll go from there. Gosh, all I want for Christmas is the so. Is it just me, or do the more weapons omens seem like they're doing exactly the opposite of, of what we want them to do and making it so there's just no weapons? I'm sure that's just selection bias, but holy smokes, has it been uh, notable. Big blue damage seems really good. Some XP could could be very useful. I think we want to grab Avid Learners because this map is so short, getting to those later perks can be very valuable. Wow, that's two blue damages. Three, everybody got a blue damage. Wow. All right, well, we're in position, and then I guess I will build another catapult here. It it does have that uh that vibe to it, doesn't it? I'm not I'm not ready to call it uh much like like you were suggesting, but it's like you, you were suggesting that I should not, you know, not assume selection bias, but oh, we have four workers left still. Okay. Oh, there's our, there's our sword. Let's grab a sword. That would be nice. 
Wands we, we like too much. This is bad weapons only. One, one thing that I will say, so like this, this shield is a good example of it. The Apocalypse 6 is just unfun. Like all the other ones, like it's one thing when you're like making the horde stronger and stronger and whatever else, but it just feels awful when you start being like, oh, minus 10% opportunism. Oh, I can't use that. How unfun type of thing. Let's see, you have a longbow, we'll swap that in for you. There we go. Okay. Looks good enough. We'll we'll float a bit of money here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be a man of my word and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill here until they get way in. We stand here, they don't make it in. And then once we once we kind of have them on their the, their back hoof, as it were. Then hopefully it'll just be a matter of, of doing damage. But I want to compare how many how much we get for corpse piles if we're really letting things get in our face. Get rid of you. So my goal is not to kill anything that is closer than three tiles. Or not, not to kill anything that is further than three tiles, excuse me. I guess I did a little bit of that. Oh, that splitter's coming all the way in, aren't they? Hey, Riz! Well, yeah, you missed the Apocalypse 5 uh, attempts that, uh, that went oh so well on, on uh, Elderlect, but... Let's see, can I get a shot at you? Okay, these are non-line of sight blocking, so that's good. Whoops. That was just a straight misclick right there. I wonder if I've put myself in a bad position. It certainly seems like... Things might be a little closer for comfort than I was, uh, than I was anticipating. But I don't know. This is this is more art than science, I feel like. We have catapults, so we'll be using those to kind of clean up the the rabble. But the idea is we're trying to make kind of like a a pile of stuff over here and then I'm gonna spend some mana. Oh, we're, yeah, I guess just to shift, I shouldn't have shifted over here, hold on. Yeah, let's, we're better off doing it this way. Why can't I move to this tile? Oh, it's just, I didn't have the range for it. OK, 
Okay, we do that, which gives us two isolated targets, which we can't one-shot because our longbow person is not good. And I guess we can start putting in work on this guy because we're just eventually going to have to do something with him. But yeah, we're definitely trading wall damage for, for potential loot. I say potential loot because I, I don't think we're, rel we're too guaranteed anything fancy. And on, on a harder map, I would really struggle to be letting myself be this, uh, this exposed. Swing and a miss. That did great work there. I don't want to discount it. But I think we're we're probably gonna hit we're probably gonna hit uh, a rank would be my guess yeah so it was not it was not without sacrifice that we that we made it here No, not really. <laughs> I Zine, that's that's just my two cents on the matter, but like I uh I'm not blown away by them at present. I feel like they're they're kind of a one trick pony. And while while their trick is doing a big mass of damage like you really have to be in a good position to to consolidate enemies to make that work which which I think is really hard to do and when catapults don't get good opportunity like you don't have a good mass of enemies they seem pretty bad to me so you think the math on them is better So let's think about that. So they are they are hitting how many tiles? 13 targets at 90 to 170. Yeah, I just I don't know. Like it it doesn't it doesn't strike me as yeah five to seven and you only get to do it twice uh twice in twice an adventure or twice a night oh that was heinously disappointing wow what's your accuracy monica negative four yep that would uh that would do it Okay, so corpse piles, I mean, it's better. 
it it seems like there is a there's a skill to that that you need to that you need to get better at over time because this probably was worth losing the uh losing the a rank or the s rank excuse me but I also don't want to act like it was necessary to lose the A rank. We probably could have done without. We probably could have had our cake and ate, eat it, eaten it too. Wow, hello? All I want for Christmas is crossbows. Crossbows and other terrible things like hammers. I guess I can take a spear. Samurai was just worse. Um, rather put that there. All right, we'll do that. Oh, here are some, here are some crossbows. An action point is never to be scoffed at. I'm going to be spending too many levels up and things on on XP when we're not going to be getting that much out of it. But I, this is the thing about uh, Gildenberg. I don't, I don't worry that much about it. <laughs> Maybe I should more. We'll grab defensive training just to see if Clanthy like goes off in some incredible way. Now your accuracy is at six. Are you the, you're the bad accuracy person. So let's get you some more accuracy. So at least you're hitting something. And then big isolation is good. Okay. Everybody's over here. Oh yeah, we should, we should definitely do a version of the same thing that we did before and just keep ourselves back on the back line. Pick up an inn. That's going to be most of our most of our money spent. Yeah, and I'm not seeing too much else. So let's grab another scavenger camp. Go for go for the scavenge for materials. Uh, sure, Zine. So it does ninety to one hundred and seventy unmodified, up to thirteen targets. And it does have vision. And I'm just going to keep building them. All right. Calculate away. I will be curious. Let's see. Do we have one more corpse pile? No, we salvaged all our corpse piles. All right. That means we're probably going to float a worker here. Uh, we can do this and, and do that. There we go. That's not bad. Okay. Okay. 